morning, y'all. Rob the American here, and welcome to Tales of Manchester, and it watches. All right, y'all, we are back on the prowl, but this time we are going international. So I'll see y'all when we get to Manchester Airport. We made it through security. It was hectic as expected, but uh, it all worked out. Waiting for a flight to Amsterdam. I've never been there before, so I've tried to make a couple of connections, but we'll, we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, I hope you'll come along for the ride. We've made it to Amsterdam. We're looking for customs and then we're going to get a bus to the place we're staying. So, wish us luck. We hope we're on the right bus. Uh, we will keep hope alive as we always do. <laughs> and I'll check back with y'all. Hopefully I will be in the sit center of Amsterdam. Well, success. We have checked into our hotel. We're feeling pretty good. We're just going to unpack our stuff and start hitting the streets 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 looking for watches all right let's do this we're out on the prowl there are bicycles everywhere my god i've almost gotten killed and run over i don't know the i don't know the rules here but uh yeah somebody had suggested to me to rent a bike while i'm here but i they're, they're marauders here i think i'm gonna i'm gonna stay on dry land Unfortunately, we struck out at Omega. I was hoping to see that brand new Speedmaster first man in space, but uh, they, don't, they don't have it. So <laughs> anyway, we'll have to wait till we get back to Manchester to, to have a look at that one. All right, let's carry on. And in this beautiful IWC boutique, we got to try out the titanium version of the Engineer. It retails for 12,900 pounds or about 16,000 US dollars. It's the same exact watch, except it's all titanium case and bracelet. I'm a big fan of this. That, that gray dial looks terrific. We stepped into the shop in Citroen Jewelry Store and first up is the brand new Grand Seiko SLGA025. It's a 40 millimeter titanium case and bracelet with the Grand Seiko's unique spring drive. It retails for 9,550 pounds or about 11,500 US dollars. And the dial color is what Grand Seiko calls a terra blue. I put it next to my IWC Engineer in Aqua. And in my eyes, these colors are almost identical. They have a different dial pattern, case, and bracelet. I think both look great. What are your thoughts? If you could have one of these, which one would you choose? We also had a look at the Ulysse Nardin Freak X. It retails for 23,750 pounds or just under 30,000 US dollars. It's a 43 millimeter titanium case and features this very unique movement. Now you can get this in Amsterdam or you can get a hold of my good pal Graham at Pride and Pinion Watches in Belfast as they are an authorized Ulysse Nardin dealer. They'll take very good care of you. And we went across the street to their Rolex boutique and had a look at one of the last 1908s that we haven't gotten our paws on. This is the 1908 with the yellow gold and black dial. It retails for 20,100 pounds or about 24,000 US dollars. I think this looks outstanding. 
It was designed as an answer to the Patek Calatrava, and I think Rolex hit it out of the park. And we went into the Vacheron Constantin Boutique for two spectacular watches. The first is this Overseas Perpetual Calendar Ultra Thin. It's a 41 and a half millimeter pink gold case and bracelet with a thickness of only eight millimeters. It retails for 98,500 pounds or about 125,000 US dollars. This is one of a kind. Now it does come with the blue rubber strap that I love so much, which tones down the gold, the gold. But again, this, the movement on this is one of a kind. They also had this skeleton version of the very same watch. Now this, my apologies for the glare, this has to be seen in person to believe. It, now on the website, it says price as re, price as requested. So if you know the price, it's going to be, it's going to be healthy. But let me tell you, I lusted after this watch. I wanted to make a run for it, but the bouncer at the door looked like in much better shape than me. So I had to leave it in the store. It is day two in Amsterdam. We are heading over to see the good folks at Amsterdam Vintage Watches. I'm super excited. Let's get over there. All right, y'all, we've just left Amsterdam Vintage Watches. Wow, I am so hype, hyped up on that. That was so great. I hope y'all enjoy that too. But we've got a lot of other watches to see, so let's let's uh, get our feet moving and, and, and get, get this done. <laughs> All right, y'all know I couldn't come all the way to Amsterdam without finding a Vietnamese restaurant. Uh, we are on the trail of one right now. Wish us luck. Well, that Vietnamese food is like a tonic for me. Wow, now I can carry on my Amsterdam watch prowl without hesitation. I feel rejuvenated and rested and raring to look at some more watches. It's day three in Amsterdam. I'm trying not to get run over by bicycle. Uh, <laughs> I'm heading to the National Museum. I'm taking a short break from the watches, go get some culture, and then it's right back to watches. Have no fear.
We are in the lobby of the National Museum. Check this out. <laughs> oh, wow. And we went into Gaston Jewelry Store and saw two very different watches, including this Tissot PRX Paramatic 80 with this brand new gradient dial. Now we had seen the other gradient dial version on our Manchester watch prowl. This version has a kind of a light blue and medium blue dial, it looks terrific. It retails for 640 pounds or about 800 US dollars. If you're looking for an affordable Swiss made watch, Tissot's your brand. And on the opposite price spectrum is this Chopar Alpine Eagle. It's a 41 millimeter rose gold case and bracelet with a thickness of just under 10 millimeters. It retails for 49,300 pounds or a just under 60,000 US dollars. But look at this striking blue dial. The design is, is developed after the eye of an eagle. This is quite special. y'all it's that time i am packing my stuff and we're going to head back to the amsterdam airport to go back to manchester wow what a great adventure this has been i hope you've enjoyed our tour of, of amsterdam and amsterdam and seeing some watches and stuff like that i've just scratched the surface if you've never been here before you definitely should put this on the list friendly people good food really it's been really great um and Feel free to leave a comment down below on anything you've seen today. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. And join me again for some more Watch Talk. Y'all take good care.